Hey, welcome back. It's good to see you all. Today we have something that I've had in the works for a while I'm really excited about. We're going to be doing a Timu haul. I bought about $90 worth of products off of Timu and I even have some here that I got for free because they have some promotions and games where you can win free items of your choosing if you complete certain tasks and invite more users to the platform. So I'll go through everything I got, how much I paid for everything, as well as all of the free stuff I got and how much that would have cost me if I had to pay for it. I have four packages here. <laughs> Making sure my address is covered. Um, this all took, I think, like an average of a week and a half to get to me from the time that I purchased or when I got the free gift. Basically just how long it took in the mail because I think all of this does come from China. So overseas shipping, their whole shtick is it. Like everything is free shipping. Overseas, a week and a half is not bad. I've had stuff from China, like, and I've only ordered a few times, but like stuff from like AliExpress that took a month, a month and a half to get here. When I also did pay for shipping. Let's get right into it. Hey, editing Keegan here. Um, I would like to apologize in advance for the fact that the first 20 minutes, the first two thirds of this video are slightly out of focus and it is driving me up the wall because I can't believe I didn't notice it while I was actually filming and correct it. I am so sorry. Please just just stick with the video. <laughs> it gets better at the end, I promise. <laughs> this is so much stuff. Okay, where's my phone? I'm just gonna start picking stuff up and <laughs> going through it because I don't know what half of this is. I don't really remember what I got. This looks like an eyeshadow palette. Timu's whole thing, like, their whole slogan is, like, shop like a billionaire, when all of this, like, stuff that looks really good on the app or the website, like, I think this eyeshadow palette was, like, $2.50. It's so cheap, but <laughs> this is also a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, that smells gross. That's cute. I'm gonna swatch this really quick. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna swatch 20 shades. I do want to do the glitter ones because I really like thick glitter, like chunky glitter eyeshadows. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. These glitter shades are absolutely beautiful. Wow. And they're a great texture too. They kind of feel a little gritty like sand, but they're super smooth and go on really nicely. That's great. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Have you seen the like Lana Del Rey cigarette lipsticks? Like it looks like a cigarette case. And so do the lipsticks, they look like cigs, but like, it's definitely a knockoff. Instead of ultraviolet, it says unrestrained. But it does have the same like, little slogan at the bottom, it says smoking kills, but we were born to die either way. Which I love, I love Lana. Okay, this is really cute. And then it opens up and has all the shades inside. <gasps> it's so small. That feels like finger paint, but it's cute. I love the packaging, I think it's really cute and I'm too cheap to actually buy the real one. <laughs> this just says shimmer stick. This is so wasteful. I'm using- this is so much plastic. I think this might be like a contour stick. Like a cream contour. Yeah. Ooh, weird. That is a fair amount of product. That's not bad! I hate the text. Oh, it doesn't blend well. Uh oh. This was a buck thirty-seven, so not bad, honestly. Oh, this is gel polish. I wonder. Oh God. Only oh, top coat. Shit. Oh, okay. What? Oh, smells like burnt plastic. Or like a burnt elf bar. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. This is like a highlighter pencil. And it looked really good on the website, <laughs> but they definitely like use other brands or like other people's pictures and just advertise their product with those pictures. Just steal them. It's not actually what it's like. Ooh, wait. 
Okay. Wow. Oh my god. Hold up. My problem with highlighters is that they can be chalky, which means they like cake and stay on your pores more than like an oil-based product would. This is oil-based. It feels really thick. It almost feels like a lipstick. Like when you get lipstick or lip gloss on your hands, it like doesn't come off. That's what this feels like. And I kind of like that because powder highlighters, like if you put it on your nose, it looks really different than if you put it on your cheeks. So I'm really excited to try this. Next up, unmarked bubble wrap package. Oh, this is the other eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but like the packaging is like a sweater. It's like a knit sweater pattern. Aww, it's so small. <laughs> so it's a sweater pattern on the packaging because the eyeshadows are pressed to look like knit sweaters. That didn't click, I didn't remember, but that's actually really cute and I love it. It's like, I'm, my fingers aren't picking up a lot of product, it could just be because I'm using my fingers and not a brush, but this doesn't seem like a super pigmented palette, which is fine. I mean, sometimes it's nice if you just want to like, have a little bit of color. Tube. What is in tube? I buy. These are posters. What the hell? It's like screen printed on. What? This is the weirdest texture. I don't even know what this like material is. Oh, that's odd. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting paper. Not like, I don't know, vinyl maybe? Anyway, I got six Lana Del Rey posters. There was one that I was a little concerned <laughs> I was like going through the product pages of everything I bought, like writing down prices for this video. I like saw this poster set again and I had to do a bit of a double take because <laughs> this picture, I noticed it for the first time. Like I didn't notice when I bought it, but I was like, she's looking a little stretched because if you think about it, album covers are square. The blue banisters one is just like, a cutout of the album like on this vinyl, but then the ultraviolence one? Like they reformatted it to fit the like rectangle shape of the vinyl poster and someone didn't do a good job. <laughs> Next up, alarm clock. And um, I mistakenly got two. This one, one of these I paid for and the other one I got is like a freebie. And I just didn't remember that I had actually purchased one when I was picking out like the free gifts. And I get to decide which one I like more because Timo does accept returns. And I do have a feeling I'll re be returning another item in this haul because I think I got the dimensions wrong. I mean, it looks really cheap. Oh, it looks really cheap. I'll put a clip in of me actually plugging this in and trying it. Editing Keegan here. I'm not gonna put in a video of me trying this because I did end up returning it. Um, and it is currently packed in a bag right now, waiting for me to bring it to UPS. That's nice. I'm also just too lazy to go put batteries in this. So I'll do this later. <laughs> one of these, the one that I bought, was not supposed to be a mirror. I don't think. It was supposed to be like wood. But this, I do like this one more. It's like slimmer and a little higher quality. Comes with a stand. Does not come with a battery. Okay, I'm keeping this one. It has charging ports. I can literally charge my phone with this. That's awesome. I'm gonna return one of them. I wanna keep this one, but if I paid for this one, then I'm gonna return the- I'm gonna keep the one I didn't pay for. Did I get two of these? What? I don't remember getting two of these. Nuh-uh. I'll have to double check if I actually put two in my cart or if they just sent me two because I did not mean to get two. I mean, I'll return one of them. Then again, it's only like two dollars. I don't know. I don't need to. It's not like I go through eyeshadow really quickly. Oops. Oh, I know what this is. I got a nail drill. I don't know how to use these, but I am really excited. This doesn't look bad. 
It's wireless. Shut up. It comes with bits. I don't actually know. Do you like turn it? Do you just pop it in? Is it like a screwdriver? Do I screw it in? Oh, no, you just push it. I love this. Oh, this is gonna be great because like I also got some gel manicure things in this somewhere. <laughs> so I'm super excited to try this out. Join the pile. This is like sponge tip contour. And I feel like the name for this was really funny. Maybe it was something else. It's not. Oh, do I have to twist it? Oh, it's like Elmer's glue. You, <laughs> you have to turn the cap. <laughs> oh, I love it. <gasps> oh, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too fun. <laughs> I don't have one of these. I've never used one. I don't have any like the sponge makeup or skincare products and I love it. I would definitely use this over the contour stick just because the stick was a little, the texture's a little odd and it didn't blend super well, but this, this does. Also, if it gets like progressively darker outside through this video, I'm really sorry. I started filming at like 3.30 and I think sunset's like around 5. Ah, this is the nail glue for like the gel tips. I mean, I'm not gonna like test this right now because I have no need to put glue on my nails. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like anything. That's nice. Okay, that's the first package. On to the next one. It's funny, like, these two don't have... I missed something. Ah! Sweet. It's like a, sort of like a mauve, taupey color. Nothing special. Anyways, I think it's really interesting that, like, these two came in just, like, sealed envelopes, whatever these are called. But then these two came with, like, the Timu brand and everything on it. Oh, wait! No, it's just the tape. It's Timu tape. Really big brain moment right there. This is only two things. Yeah. This is like a um, pajama lounge set shirt, shorts, and like a cropped sort of tank top. And it's actually really good quality. It's probably not good quality, but it feels good. It's a good texture. This is nice. The other thing in this package, I don't remember what it is. <gasps> I do remember what it is. I got like a, a pack of gel polishes, a bunch of different colors. I hate that they're all like individually wrapped though, that's weird. They're very small, like sample sizes, like you won't be able to get a lot of polish out of these. But then again, it is eight different polishes. So like eight polishes, all different colors a pretty good deal for the amount that you're getting in all of them so I am pretty excited to try these out especially with the nail grinder <laughs> next up this big boy there's a lot of stuff in here we'll just go product by product that seems quite small this is like when you wash your face it's like one of those squishy headbands and it also comes with the little wrist ones so you don't have water dripping up your arms in a sensory nightmare every time you wash your face. They're also it's like <laughs> aerobics instructor. <laughs> I don't want to put it on, I'm going to mess with my hair. That works. I definitely just fucked up my hair anyway. This is cute. Nothing bad to say. I do like the little, little cups. They're sweet. <laughs> I got a brush set. They are bad. These are like the color champagne. I don't really see that personally. Call it like fox. I don't know. Pretty soft. I've I've had worse brushes than this. I like literally do my eyebrows with a paintbrush from Michaels because why not? <clears throat> Excuse me. Decent quality. 
especially since there's so many different kinds. Wow. I hope my ring light isn't in there. <laughs> like I said, I did get nail tips. So these are, I think, just almond shaped. My only problem with like pre-sized nail tips is that I have really small hands and my nail beds are absolutely tiny. So most of the time I have to like file down the tips. Oh, that actually fits pretty nicely. I'm gonna have a lot of extra though. I think this is like a pack of 200. I'm very bad at just eyeballing amounts. So I don't know, but if there's like 20 in each one and there's 12, that's over 200. Can't complain, especially for the price. <laughs> this is so bougie. <laughs> I got like a fluffy satin eye mask or like a sleep sleeping mask. Sleeping eye mask. How does it look? I don't know, it feels comfy. It's a little tight on my nose, but it's soft too. I have a hard time falling asleep if I like take like a low dose melatonin gummy every night. Um, because if I don't, I like stay up for like at least two hours nightly and it sucks. Whatever this is would help me to keep my eyes shut and actually fucking fall asleep. Does this look horrendous? Should I take this off? One sec. I'm taking it off. Um, ooh. Ah! When I was going through all the product pages, there were a few items that I couldn't find because they're out of stock or the page has been removed. This was one of them. It is a scalp massager. It's actually kind of cute. I love the color of it. It's decent quality. It is like silicone, which I wasn't expecting, but it's a cool color and it's easy to hold. Like half of the stuff I like don't, there's nothing bad about it. It's just not the best. But if you can't afford the best, this is really great. Besides the fact that half of it is like drop shipped stuff and I have a mountain of plastic packaging in front of me. So you come off the forward. Moving on. Ooh, I got little hair clips. The ones that like aren't supposed to crease your hair for when like you're doing your makeup and stuff. Oh, they're cute. These are probably most definitely gonna crease my hair. I'm not gonna do this right now. But I'm literally using the like mirror clock <laughs> to see my face. Okay, this is like a mini UV light to cure your polish, your nail polish, your gel polish. It's so small. But then again, like I said, I have small hands. So it's good for me. I also don't want to do this right now. <laughs> I'm going to insert a clip of me trying this with one of these polishes and I'll let you know if it works. It works just fine, just took a little longer to cure than I was expecting. Falsies. Wispies. Wispy false. I typically hate false lashes because for some reason like wearing contacts and false lashes at the same time really irritates my eyes and I end up ripping them off. But I'm hoping that these won't do that because they're super thin and super small. So we'll see. Little powder puffs. So sweet. So cute. I don't have any. I've never used them. But, oh, that's a look. That's great. Wait, what are the thoughts? 2024 trend? I think I'm slaying it. <laughs> this is why I love filming, because when I talk to a camera, well, when I talk to myself, it's crazy, but when I talk to a camera, does that, does talking to a camera make me more or less crazy? What's the, what's the crazy meter there? Moving on. Heatless curler. And it's pink. Sometimes I like shower at night and put my hair in braids so that it's like really crimpy and curly the next day. It's not curly, it's like just really wavy. My hair never has any volume unless I do that because it's super dry, super thin, super fine. Hopefully this does something. Oh, this is so cute. Daisies are my favorite flower. Has a sticker. This is a big bag. That's nice. Let me just, I'm just gonna put, yes. That literally fits so much. More than half of the stuff that I've opened so far. That's awesome. Another bag, bang. Pockets. That is cute. <gasps> pockets. What has it got in its pockets? <laughs> 
the other stuff in here. <laughs> that was literally everything else. I fit everything I've opened into these two bags. That is amazing. I love this. This is a little more classier. It's a little more cute. And it was cheap as fuck. This box is so beautiful. Oh my god. This is like a mini ring light though. The reason I got this is because my ring light and um, tripod are pretty tall. So they don't like fit in certain places. Like my camera is literally sitting on a space heater right now. And my ring light is fully lowered right here. It's, it's right here. You can't see it, which is the point. So, I was like, let's kill two birds with one stone, and let's get something that'll be like, desktop quality? Desktop height? Whatever. I will say, I hate assembling tripods and ring lights, because there's just so many parts that I, I don't know what to do with. Okay, we have one downside. This is not like, doesn't extend enough to fit my phone horizontally. Thankfully, it does have an additional mount for your camera. So I guess this is fine for doing like TikToks and stuff. Ta-da! Say hi. The legs are pretty loose. Like the weight of my phone pushes it down. I wonder if I can tighten that at all. Like I, my camera is definitely too heavy to sit on this and have it stay up. Maybe I could like rubber band the legs. Fairly decent. I'm not mad about that. The hell? I have more powder puffs. This is what I didn't measure correctly. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a duvet set. I have a full size bed with a queen size comforter on it. And I looked up the dimensions of a full bed and purchased it based on the width and the length of my bed, not of my comforter. So I have a feeling this is gonna be way too small. One sec. This is way too small. I knew I made a little <clears throat> fucky wucky purchasing this. I'll just return it and get a bigger size, I think. It was so cheap, that's the thing. I'll just get another one. This one is chunky. It looks like they had a really hard time fitting everything in here because there's quite a bit of tape. I think holding it all together. And I'm pretty sure this package is all of the free stuff that I got. I made sure to pick really expensive products so that I could like rack up the value of what I'm getting for free. Yeah, I got like $200 worth of free stuff. It's called working the system, babes. First thing, pretty sure this is like a, kind of like a Dyson air dried dupe. It is a hair dryer with a bunch of extra attachments. Yeah, seven in one. How sleek is this packaging? Yeah, I made the right decision. I don't even know what half of this shit is. <laughs> These look like curling attachments, but... Shut up. Oh! 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 system. Work the system. Oh my god. I can't, I can't believe I got this for free. This is insane. I did have to convince like seven people to download the app. Got a fucking camera. <laughs> the reviews of this are so mixed. I feel like all the good reviews are fake and they've just like been paid by Timu or the manufacturer to like say really great things about it and then like the real reviews are like, don't buy this. This is like made for children. <laughs> But I'm interested, so, and it was free. I mean, it was free. This also doesn't exist anymore. The product listing has been taken down. I wonder if the battery's charged. Look at this. This is insane. I wonder if I can turn the flash on. <laughs> Go into the light. Holy shit, that is really bright. I'm sorry, I think I just blinded you guys. Shut up. This quality, that's amazing. 
new vlogging camera who okay this is great because it's super light and super small the camera i have is a um canon eos rx7 it's the pictures are really great great the pictures are really great i love it the pictures are great but the videos the quality is really good but it doesn't have like focus while shooting so you have to set the focus before you start filming and then no way to change the focus while you're filming if your hands aren't on the camera and you are manually focusing it <sighs> flashbacks it's also hefty my not this one my camera you yes you so it's like hard to carry around it's kind of bulky but it's great quality. I, I spent a good amount of money on that camera. This was free. <laughs> this is like a great vlogging camera, especially the fact that you can like, the fact that you can see yourself while you're filming. This is wonderful. Screw the bad reviews, this is great. Holy shit. I, I can't believe I got this for free. Okay, we're onto the last product. This obviously got a little squashed. I hope nothing broke. Not that I'm super concerned. Again, this was free. This is like an organizer, like a desktop, sort of like makeup kind of organ- it's an organizer. There was like a few color options for this. I wish I'd gotten the green one. It seemed really cute, but then like it doesn't really fit my room. I have a very monochromatic neutral toned room, and so like a, a, a sage green. I have nothing else that's sage green, so it wouldn't fit. So I just got clear. Uh, I hope there's not like a pile of garbage. Right. <laughs> I also hope I'm in focus. Uh. <laughs> Let's just put this together. Let's see how fast I can do this. Fucking time lapse this shit. needs a boyfriend strong independent women shit that's really cute it almost looks like glass <laughs> almost sweet that has been everything total price basically what i paid is going to be right here and then what all of this was worth before freebies discounts all of that is going to be right here so the total savings of everything I bought from Timu was, let me check my notes really quick. Uh, total savings was $578.46. So the three free items I got, the blow dryer set, the camera, this rack, um, totaled to $197.07. So I basically got $200 worth of pretty decent quality free stuff and I'm so psyched that I spent like under $90 and got so much stuff. So much stuff. Too much stuff. Very fast fashion, but I'm psyched and this was really fun and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this, more beauty, more vlog, more haul kind of stuff. Um, the hauls are a little tricky because, you know, <laughs> but I am yours and you are mine. You are a Canon EOS Rebel T7. And I love you. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.